Hello everyone, welcome to channel Geek Nepal. Today I'll be working on the move function in IDEC PLC ladder logic. Okay, uh, move is a advanced function. There are different kinds of move. Uh, move, normal move, move not, indirect move, block move, and there are different. But I'll work on a move function today. Okay. Alrighty, let's begin by typing A. That brings us this. Um, selection here and if you press ok when we are on normal o normally open okay and if you type i zero we don't need this comment reset and ok that will bring us a input zero okay normally open contact okay let's add a move function along with the wrong okay and this move here is using word data type word okay this s1 d1 these are the 16 bit data register okay so if you are using the 32 bits double okay so let's say if you are using one two three four five six seven eight and move that to d data register d0 it would not work okay because this eight of the decimal number is 32 bits okay so we can only use four okay so that would make the 16 bit okay already and let's draw a line here here and add a move function and let's make it double okay we will be using one two three four five six seven eight and if you use d1 that should work because it's a 32 bit and the data type we choose is double okay already let's simulate and see what happens okay so basically word 16 bit move to move from source register 1 1 2 3 4 value 2 destination register 1 2 data register d 0 0 0 and the values 1 2 3 4 has been moved from s1 to d1 okay similarly for the double it's done okay and let's go back and let's do no let's do this here actually let's draw a line here deselect this CTRLC CTRLV we want to make this move not okay and we will move that to D2 okay and let's see what happens um, on D2 this number had changed okay because this is converted to decimal number from one to three four okay so let's see if we add these two one two three four uh, from s1 and d d2 what it provides us okay addison okay so we gonna add one two three four and we gonna add d2 and save that on d3 okay the value should be six five five three five okay um well this does not work because okay here let's simulate this and six five five three five is two to the power sixteen minus one okay which is sixteen bit register okay so that takes six five five three five because you if you add these two number the max would be six five five three five that the sixteen bit register can handle okay already and I want to show you one more thing here. Normally open. 
I1, OK, and let's say we have it, output coil. Mm -hmm. OK, memory register. OK, already. CDRLC, CDRLB, okay, and let's add a CSOTU single output up, and let's move. Yum zero two. Yum. Two. D. Five. Let's say. Okay. And let's run this here. Okay. This has been moved. Okay. The, this data values. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. And on the single side, yum one single bit is moved to d5 okay so basically you can move the word integer um, double okay so and the other thing i want to show you here today is the if you right click this thing here and help and move or if you press f1 you will see you have the help function here okay so what you can do here is source one, destination one, um, word integer. Um, okay. So what you can do with the move function is you, you cannot use the special uh, memory register. Um, you only can use the numbers and the data register uh, memory bit, but not the sp special memory bit. Uh, if you are using double again uh, you you are using basically 16 and 16 that makes 32 to register okay d0 d1 or that could be d1 and d2 those kind of things um, okay and if you repeat this for three so basically you are using three of the register when using a word if you repeat three for the d word that would be six of the register okay those kind of thing I just wanted to show you help function uh, when you are programming of course you will need those uh, let's go back here I also want to show you something here so uh, if you are not familiar with the binary to decimal and hexadecimal uh, this is equivalent to this binary 0001 is equivalent to 1 in hexadecimal and decimal and 1111 and 15 and is equivalent to F okay so let me you said like 1111 is equivalent to F in hexadecimal okay so let's see let's simulate it one more time and double click this make that hex okay so so this FF FF is 41 41 41 and 41 okay that makes the 2 to the power 16 minus 1 all ones and that is 4 F's okay in hexadecimal already uh, that's all I wanted to show you today uh, I'll see you on the next thank you so much bye bye